Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of two AI video models that can run locally in Comfy UI. The first one, as we mentioned in previous videos, is Pyramid Flow, which is another diffusion transformer model. It's capable of running videos with higher definitions or resolutions using both image to video and text to video. The second one, which we've talked about before, is Cog Video X. We'll be using Cog Video X 5B because it's the only version that supports image to video. I originally planned to use Cog Video X 2B, but it doesn't support image to video. Now, why did I want to use the 2B version? It's because the Pyramid Flow model has 2 billion parameters, and to make a fair comparison, I wanted to use something within the same range, around 2 billion parameters. We'll see how this works out. We might also use text to video for the 2B parameter model and then do another side by side comparison using the 5B image to video as well. Both models are very similar in terms of performance. However, there is a slight difference in how they behave. First, let's run the same image I've showcased in both previous tutorials for running Cog Video X and Pyramid Flow using the same image for both. I'll wait for the generation to complete and we'll come back later to review the results. Okay, both models have created their videos, and it looks like Cog Video X, even with the larger 5B model, shows mostly still motions, similar to what we've seen in stable diffusion style videos with subtle camera panning. I'm not sure why the result turned out this way, but I see the same consistent movement as before. With Pyramid Flow, using the same image and settings, I was able to generate a scene with a girl walking into a forest with the river's stream flowing in one direction. It's able to do that consistently. Now, let's try Cog Video X again. I might use a different text prompt this time instead of the tree streaming still image text prompt. So far, in terms of video quality, I'd say Pyramid Flow delivers better results for image to video. In the last two videos, we discussed both Cog Video X and Pyramid Flow. And some viewers commented that Cog Video X performs better in generating video results. However, I didn't observe this when using the same image and resolution settings, as both are running at 720p. For video sizes, the resolution doesn't make much difference. As you can see, I'm using a transformer model at 768p, which is equivalent to 720p resolution. Pyramid Flow produces consistent results, with the trees on the side being very coherent. Although there's still some camera panning, it's able to differentiate between objects. In this example, the model accurately identifies the girl walking and separates her from the background. This is something Cogvideo X struggles with, as it only applies depth mapping between the trees in the foreground and the background with minimal camera movement. Let's try some different settings, maybe we'll have better luck. I'll use the standard static mode and tweak the text prompts. Let's give Cog Video X another chance. This time, Cog Video X performed better. The character actually moved and stepped on a rock, understanding the object as something to step on. In contrast, older AI video models would have the character jumping around or morphing their legs in strange ways, like walking into water or trees. But this time, Cog Video X performed more normally. The character even turned left in a smooth, natural way, and the character's outfit remained consistent throughout. Zooming in, you can see that the backpack, pants, and t-shirt all stayed the same color from start to finish, which is a good sign for Cog Video X. It managed to produce a coherent result, whereas Pyramid Flow animated the character moving forward instead of sideways, stepping on the river stones. However, both models struggle with rendering the face, as both characters have blurred faces in the final video. That's to be expected from small-scale AI models. They're good for short animations, but they can't handle detailed faces. Here's another example where I'm using a product demo image. Let's see how well that works with this text prompt. I'll use a prompt describing a healthcare product on a table with a man holding a bottle and we'll run the test for both Pyramid Flow and Cog Video X with the same image and text prompts. Here's the result. First, Cog Video X 5B was able to follow the text prompt of a man's hand picking up a bottle. 
However, the text on the label gets distorted and we can't see any clear text in the frames after the bottle is picked up. There's some blurring as the object moves. On the other hand, the result from Pyramid Flow, using the same image and text prompt, looks awkward. As I mentioned before, these models are trained using SD3 as the base image model, which has its drawbacks. You might see six fingers or weird alien fingers in some frames. That's one of the big drawbacks of using these models for videos involving human characters. For this test, I'd say COG Video X performs better. Despite being small AI models, the logic behind COG Video X clearly shows a better understanding of the text prompts and motion generation compared to Pyramid Flow, which struggles to deliver the expected result. In the final two seconds of Pyramid Flow's video, we even get a bizarre alien hand on the left, which wasn't in my text prompt. That's what we're working with and you can decide for yourself which model delivers better image to video results. Here's another example. As people have asked if these models can be used for animation styles instead of realistic video clips. I generated an image earlier and will apply a new text prompt to animate it. The prompt describes a beautiful animated lady in the forest smiling in front of the camera with spring flowers in the background. I'll use the same prompt for both Pyramid Flow and Cog Video X and compare the results. While waiting for the generation, it's worth noting that the generation time for each video clip is around 6-8 minutes on my system, with each video being 5-8 seconds long. Now both videos are ready. Starting with Cog Video X, although the image is slightly blurry, the character's face shows some movement, as if she's trying to smile but feels shy. The hair moves subtly and the flowers in the background also show movement. In contrast, Pyramid Flow's result feels like the model didn't handle the human character well. The face remains static despite my text prompt asking for a smile and only the hair and flowers show slight movement. The hair movement is blurry and it doesn't follow the head's motion very well. That's a significant drawback with Pyramid Flow, likely due to using the wrong base model for training. I've updated the workflow to make side-by-side -side comparisons easier so you can test Pyramid Flow and Cog Video X simultaneously with the same input. I've generated a few more examples using this workflow, including a fantasy-style animation where we animate colorful orbs flying around the character. I'll use the same image and text prompts for both AI models. As you can see in the comparison, Cog Video X delivers a much better result with coherent facial expressions and orbs of light dancing around the character. The result from Pyramid Flow is awkward. The head stays still while the body morphs and the orbs don't move as expected. The eyes of the character even change in a ghost-like way in the last two seconds. That's the difference in performance between these two models. I've generated a few more examples using this basic workflow to compare both AI models, and I'll link this workflow in the video description below. I'll showcase more examples at the end of this video, so I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya!